Hi everybody, this is another health wash video. Um, I, um, oh, actually my mother found this in the local newspaper in the Gazette, and, um, and, and it was an interesting article, and she thought maybe I would be, uh, in, interested in, uh, reading it, and, um, I am because, uh, I, I love art, and, uh, and I'm studying graphic design and but anyway this has to do with the Last Supper and with food and um, and how uh, uh, food has changed uh, through the centuries and how it, how it's affected us in today's society uh, so anyway it was uh, reprinted from the Associated Press and uh, you can also find this article online. I'll I include the link over on the sidebar, uh, or I don't know if they changed it if it's down there now, because uh, uh, yeah, I can't you two kind of drives you crazy about move, moving stuff around. That they're trying to uh, do a new thing, I guess. Um, I don't know, but uh, yeah, it's either down here or, or over there in the right hand side. But anyway, the the article read, "Food in the Last Supper uh, paintings has grown by biblical proportions," and I thought maybe this would be a good time since uh, the Passover it will be on Tuesday, uh, Tuesday evening at sundown. That's the beginning of the Passover, and uh, I believe that runs like for eight days. Um, yeah, from uh, the Tuesday, the, uh, uh, March the 30th, on through April. Uh, was that April? I can't see my calendar from here, but uh, I think it's like April the uh, 5th, I think. Um, but anyway, uh, back to the article. I'm sorry about that. Um, Okay, food in uh, uh, Last Supper paintings have grown by biblical proportions. And um, the article reads as follows. Has even the Last Supper been supersized? That word supersized sounds familiar, doesn't it? Um, kind of reminds me of uh, that documentary that, um, oh, what is that guy's name? They did the Super Size Me documentary. I haven't seen it, but that kind of reminds me of that. Uh, but anyway, um, the food in the famous paintings of the meal has grown by biblical proportions over the, the last millennium, and researchers reported in the medical journal today. Using a, a computer, they compared the size of the food to the size of the head's in 52 paintings of Jesus Christ and his disciples at their final meal before his death. If art imitates life, we're in trouble. The researchers conclude the size of the main dish grew 69%, the size of the plate 66%, and the bread 23%, between the years 1000 and 2000. Supersizing is uh, considered a modern phenomenon, but what we see recently may be just a more notable part of a very long trend, says Brian uh, Wan Wansink, that's W-A-N-S-I-N-K, a, a food behavior scientist at Cornell University. The study was his idea. For biblical content, he sought help from his brother, Craig uh, Wansink, um, or Wansink, W-A-N-S-I-N-K, Wansink, uh, professor of religious studies at Virginia Wesleyan College in Norfolk, Virginia, and an ordained Presbyterian minister. The Bible says that the uh, Last Supper took place on the Passover evening, but gives little detail on specific foods besides bread and wine. And there's nothing else mentioned. They don't say that there's a fruit cup or carrot cake. 
do they have those things back then? I don't know. <laughs> and though other foods such as fish, eel, uh, lamb, and even pork has appeared in paintings through the years, uh, Brian uh, Wansink says. Uh, for for the study, he used paintings featured in the book of The Last Supper, uh, published in 2000 by um, Faden Press. That's P H A I D O N Press. Faden Press. They include perhaps the most famous portrayal of the meal by Leonardo da Vinci. Computer technology allowed them to scan, rotate, and calculate images regardless of their orientation in the paintings. Details are in the April issue of the International Journal of Obesity. The study is not very uh, meaningful science, said Martin Binks, a behavior health psychologist and a consultant at Duke University Medical Center. And we have real life examples of uh, increase in portion size. All you have to do is look at what's being sold at fast food restaurants. And that's true. Um, of course, there's other things uh, in fast foods that is, I don't think it's really real food. And plus, all the additives uh, like MSG and stuff that they add uh, to it, too. And a, a more contemporary test would be to analyze portion sizes in su Super Bowl commercials, he suggested. Um, that would be um, a much more meaningful snapshot of how this society's relationship to food has changed, Bink said. And that's the end of the article. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know if I have any comments. I think they said everything in the article. And you can also catch this article online, too. It's kind of worded differently and, and all. And it does provide the link to the, the Journal of Obesity if you want to read that and, and things. And there's a lot of other links that you can uh, look into uh, in regards to um, downsizing, uh, consumption, um, and super super bowl uh, serving bowl sizes, food consumption, and so on and so forth. Uh, these are PDF files, so you can uh, read any of those if you're interested in those. And yeah, there's a lot of links there, so yeah, uh, take advantage of it and uh, look over the entire site. It's really interesting that, that site uh, from and. Um, it says that the paintings in the study uh, can be found at www.mindlesseating.org for slash last supper. Uh, and that's it. Um, but I'll provide the link over there. And, and that's it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, just uh, what, I, what I've done is that I don't eat out fast food restaurants. I used to, but I used to have like my, my little favorites, um, and uh, but I don't go out as much anymore um, because I fix uh, all my meals at home, and um, and I and I try to eat small portions and I eat stuff that's good for you, natural stuff, mostly fruits and vegetables. And I love juicing. I like making smoothies and things like that. So. But uh, yeah, I'll check out those links, and uh, I hope this was interesting to you, and uh, anything else comes up, uh, I'll make a little video of it, and I'll see you later. God bless, and Jesus loves you. Bye.